Metal Hellsinger, the game where you actively feel like a badass while you're killing different types of demons. Now, personally, at the time recording this, I have only had 80 minutes playing this game, but those 80 minutes, well, they fried my brain. It was, um, it was really heavy multitasking. Multitasking? What? This game looks pretty easy, which, you know, it is. What you're watching right now is the tutorial. But, you know, if not for the tutorial, my brain literally got fried. Like, well, in the tutorial, it was pretty simple. But while playing the actual game, it was crazy. Basically, you have to keep your fury up by hitting enemies or using the skull. And while also doing that, you have to focus on dodging the enemies. Because whenever you get hit by an enemy, your fury gets decreased. Which you don't want that, because your fury gives you more points at the end of the game. And it gives you more damage and better music. You also have a hit streak, which you have to, you know, pretty easier mechanics. You just gotta hit stuff and not get hit yourself, just like the Fury. So you have to focus on dodging while aiming perfectly and doing stuff on beat. Very hard. Fried my brain after a little bit. Also, a quick side note on how the Fury works. I uh, listened back to my audio, noticed I was saying, like, Fury. Kind of, kind of made me feel a bit weird. Anyways. How the fury works is every single time you're using your skull, your fury goes up. And it also goes up when you kill or hit enemies with any other weapon. So basically, every single time you're not in combat, you're going to be using the skull to keep your fury up. And every single time you are in combat, you're going to be using any other weapon to kill the enemies and, you know, do some cool shenanigans. Well, you know, also dodging, remembering their attack patterns, <laughs> fried my brain so quickly. After 80 minutes, I had to take a break. Usually my game sessions last like four hours on a singular game that I really like. Poor bastards. Oh yeah, there's also ultimates for each ability, which do different stuff. Like for the sword, which you've seen right now, there's uh, lots of swings quicker. You'll see the other ones later. But anyways, here's my first run. He was just getting warmed up. Actually, here's what I gained on my first run. Basically just a cool shotgun that I can use at the start of the game. Really nothing special. I would have gained this shotgun even if I did really bad. Hint, I did really bad. And on my second attempt, instead of dying like a loser, I actually make it to the next level. Oh, and funny thing, I switched to my sword after spamming the shotgun, and I got called trash. The game literally paused me to say, hey, you're doing trash. Do you want to, like, you know, fix your lag in your system? Anyways, I finished this stage by using my ultimate godly skills. Uh, basically just using the skull ultimate with, like, two clicks. And after that, I went to the next level, which, um, is kind of just a whole bunch of demons having, like, a party or something. I don't know. They were doing drugs in the corner while the others were actually, like, fighting the battle. <laughs> I cleared them pretty easily, basically. Oh, yeah, and if the drug party was enough... Now we find out what happens to every single Shrek after they die. But damn, Shrek hits hard. Woo! Very close call. I totally lived. Actually, I did live. There's no need for sarcasm.
gave me. No, okay, now, so like, no jokes here. This is where I die because, um, you'll see. And you know, surprisingly, it took me a while to die. But yeah, basically I got put in a corner with two demified Shreks, and then I got sniped by a little demon gunner that's oddly also tanky, so, you know. Alright, next! Oh yeah, I also chilled in the loadout screen. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, so in my third run, I actually am able to keep my fury, so you guys could like jam to this badass music. Yeah, I'll shut up for you.
Yeah, so I can never get back to that level, and um, I did enjoy listening to all that music, but after that run, there was one thing I was really, really mad about. Alright, I have relationships with Beast Boy. And, you know, I could never get out of there. Like, I, after several minutes of playing the game, run after run after run. Oh, um, I beat my uh, PB by uh, quite a bit. Um, well, that's surprising. <laughs> but yeah, basically after this, my brain was aching. I got excited that I finally beat that beast boy lover. And then I went to sleep.